the shot. Randy Richardson is our crew chief, Claire Aubrey and Tyler Ricks, your officials, and the tip going to Chicago to start things off. Of that Camila Cardoso, Elena Smith matchup. Mabry gets a look from the corner. If she hit that shot, I was going to say we're going to have to mic her up every game. And fast break points. What a pass and catch. And Smith with the finish. The shot goes, pops out for Collier, but they get another look at it. This Minnesota team coming in, a 13-4 and four overall record, and one of the best three-point shooters, McBride, hits her first. If you don't box her out. Chicago still trying to hunt down its first points. Couple of buckets here for the Lynx, and Cardoso gets it knocked away. The dribble, the help has to come. Errant pass, not there from Mabry, and leading the way there to Williams. And it's a 7-0 start, and you knew that Spoon was going to be calling the timeout. Long rebounds and live ball turnovers, which they've already gotten a few of today. When we say pace, let's not get confused because they, they run really the, the second slowest pace in the league. But you want to talk about balance, and that's Cheryl Reeves' formula. Driving baseline, they give it right back to Kennedy, and she gets the bounce. Doesn't take a lot of three-point shots, but efficient in the ones that she does take. Kennedy Carter again driving baseline. They kick out to Allen, a three-pointer on the way, and it falls. Wide open, high percentage looks. Good energy in the building, helping the sky with a little bit of a comeback, and Smith drills the baseline jumper. Chicago doing a good job defensive rebounding here against the Lynx. Mabry mid-range. Coach Boone talked to us before the game about the Chicago utilizing the pick and roll a little bit more. And that and that action was more about the guard coming off the ball screen. Expect to see more ball screen offense from the Chicago Sky moving forward. Big Bride picks up another bucket. She's got five here to lead the Lynx here early. And Mabry swings it out. Corner shot. Oh, Lindsay Allen, a three-point specialist today is a perfect two for two from three. She's doubled it up. And those are the shots that Minnesota's gonna give you. So you've gotta be prepared and confident enough to take them. Carter. Richard Carlton inserted into the starting lineup with Diamond Miller, had a knee injury. And Miller slowly working her way back. Oh, about Carter. Ever since her Marquette days as a three-point shooter, she's struggling a little bit this season from behind the arc. So that's a great way to get her going is to the rim. And the response. That's usually a game tally for Lindsay Allen. It's a first quarter tally for her right now, and they knock it away. This guy very active defensively, finding Angel Reeves on the transition. That time, Mabry was a little bit too unselfish. Collier too strong that time, got knocked in the face. We play on. Allen over to Mabry, more transition luck for Chicago. Into the lineup here, played about three minutes. After missing considerable time with a knee injury, she played against Dallas in the last game, but the Sky forced another turnover. And they forced that turnover playing zone, which is something the Sky rarely does. Smith comes over to block Angel Reese. And Heidemann penetrating, finger roll finish, count the bucket. And she picks up the foul. Real, she's funny. I don't even think she tries to be funny. She's just, <laughs> her competitive fire is contagious. And seeing her old teammate, Courtney Williams. Speaking of old teammates, Alana Smith has had a, a pretty good start. Three of five from the field for seven points. In the second for Chicago. Diamond Miller spinning, count the bucket. Interesting to see how many minutes Diamond Miller gets to play here today. Miller already with four minutes high off the glass. The sky respond plus five. Dana one for two from the field. Opening up the second quarter here for the sky. Carlton catch and shoot, fires and hits. Well, neither Bridget Carlton or Nafisa Collier scored in the first quarter. That's that's a rarity. And here is Smith cutting to the bucket, and another and one for the Lynx. She needs to get her confidence going. Diamond to Shields is a very good player. She helped the Chicago Sky win a championship a few years ago. Kayla McBride. Carlton again trying to find McBride. 
And a post touch for Collier, who's been quiet. That double team coming. That is a tough, tough shot to make. Allen for three. Oh, she's hit three of those. Because it's just one of her players just making a physical play. Minnesota is probably one of the most physical, if not the most physical team in the WNBA. Carter rises and fires 37 to 34. Watch for Nafisa to step outside more and try to shoot more jumpers. That's what she's done the last couple of possessions. Driving. Allen has not missed a shot. Oh, what a first half. It has been Lindsay Allen time. Her post player open. I appreciate that as a former post player myself. She's a little, a little too into that screen. Well, we only have Marina mic'd up in the pregame. I kind of wish after plays like that we had her mic'd up in game. There's Courtney Williams. And in the most positive form, Courtney Williams provides that little chip that this Minnesota Lynx team needed. Snaps her up from Chicago. Here goes Reese penetrating. Her career high 26 points that she got in the year 2022 actually playing with the Lynx. Collier takes the pass and gets the bucket. Lindsay Allen to Angel Reese trying to create some movement. Collier gets her. And here comes Williams. A one person break. It's deflected. It'll stay here with 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Well, an opportunity here. Mapry from the corner. There's your capitalization from the corner. Three seconds to shoot. Smith takes a look at the clock. Tough to get it up and over Cardoso. For making that mic'd up moment possible. A proud partner of your Chicago Sky. Here's Mabry right on cue from the corner. Out of that timeout to put back for Cardoso for first field goal of the day. Camilla really struggled in the first half, but you're not going to hold the big girl down. She's too relentless and has way too much pride for that. Williams a mid-range, nothing but Ned and Courtney Williams against her former team. Six points, nine rebounds for Angel. Angel is much more effective when she just catches and shoots. That little pause, that little hesitation that we just saw, she needs to take that out. Here's Smith challenging against Angel Reese. Now in Chicago, going against Courtney Williams, who reverse style went from Chicago to Minnesota. Kennedy Carter, baseline is pure. I think Cheryl Reva <laughs> noticed that too, but elected not to challenge in that kind of position. Carter, crossing over, gets another one. On a heater, Kennedy Carter with 13. And the Sky leading Minnesota 51 to 42. Collier, only six points here so far, as Carlton gets a look. And she's got seven points now to go with her nine rebounds. Xander Lassini, pump fake, gets the jumper, and Xander Lassini's first field goal. Lot of time to work with, but Mabry resetting. Working off the ball screen with Reese, gets enough daylight, knocks it down. Mabry. Here's Collier. That's a long two. Foot was on the line. Here's Dana. Harrison now with five to shoot. Harrison driving. Contact. Courtney Williams sees some daylight, penetrates, takes the contact. You can count it. Allen chases it down over to Reese, up against Collier, rims out. How about another opportunity? Perhaps a third. Angel Reese paying it off. Nine points she's got today. To celebrate or to feel good about and to build on moving forward. Angel Reese, 10 points, 17 rebounds in the final few seconds of this one. Though is isn't a losing effort and a nice embrace with Nafisa Collier. The Minnesota Lynx swung back.